Hello, it's Alfred from TV and Radio Techniques. Day two of your five day video challenge We're outdoors today. Today, think about this. The one thing that many business people do not do, but they need to do every time they speak in front of one of these or on a microphone. I'll tell you what that is in just a moment. But first, think. Why are we doing this? The single purpose is to help you make your media communication effortless so you can be simpler, clearer, more powerful, feel better when you talk to an audience. And to do that, there are some little building blocks that you need to put into place. And that's what this is all about. And what we're giving you through the next five days are simple media success habits. And they all form part of what I call the roadmap, the pathway, the blueprint to media success. And nail down these habits and you suddenly will feel tons better whenever you're talking to TV, to radio, to a newspaper or to your customer. So today, the one thing that many business people do not do that they need to do. What is it? It's rehearse. Here are three things that you need to do. Firstly, get the words out of your brain and through your mouth. It's not easy when you're under pressure, you know. You forget things. But when you rehearse, all of a sudden, you cut out the words that you don't really want to say. You focus so you're more laser targeted with what you do want to say. And suddenly, the communication becomes easier. So get the words out of your mouth. Secondly, going on the media is very different from, say, a business meeting where you've got three hours to get your message across. On the media, you've got three minutes. So you've got to make it count. And to do that, you've got to know precisely what you want to say. So speak it not once, not twice, not three times, not four times, but as many as it takes. So you can speak straight from your brain, through your mouth, and it's razor sharp every time that you talk talk. Here's a third key bit you get from doing this. Big C word, confidence. Because suddenly you can be calm, you can be at peace with yourself, you can feel at ease because you've done the rehearsing, you've spoken those words out loud, you know where you want to be, you know the message that you want to deliver, you've kept it simple so the audience can follow it. And that's what makes media communication powerful. So stick with us, video three coming tomorrow, and then stay with us until the end of the week when we'll share with you the four critical qualities that every media spokesperson has to be powerful in front of a camera or microphone. Day three, coming tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye.